What is going on guys? What is going on 27 squad? Welcome back in to another video and today we are talking about the New York Giants going down from a 90 to 80 man roster. Now I knew that this was going to happen. I was going to make a video on who I thought would have been cut but I just didn't get around to doing that video but the final cuts are here. The Giants just posted it on their website so let us go right into it. So it says here the Giants today waived eight players to reach their uh, NFL's newly significant roster limit of 80 players. As you guys know, this 80 player limit, uh, it was put in place due to COVID-19. They want to limit kind of the uh, exposure to the uh, virus and have, you know, limit the players, which I don't think makes a lot of sense. I mean, that yes, in, in looking at it, it's 320 players, 32 on each team that need to be cut. And that's 320 players less that can spread a virus. But at the same time, you're talking about a 90-man team going down to 80 players. I don't think you're really doing much justice if there was a COVID outbreak in one of your facilities about a whole 80 guys. Like, I could understand if you go from like from 90 to like 60 or if you go from 90 to like 50 or like the 55, right? Which obviously wouldn't happen. But at the same time, like, I would understand that. But I can't understand just just taking out 10 players out of out of 90 I mean it doesn't make any sense to me but anyway the Giants have released four players that have regular season experience with the Giants and that is John Hilleman we all know about John Hilleman from Rutgers who I'm surprised got cut very early linebacker Chris Peace safety Rashawn Golden and cornerback Shakia or Shaquille Taylor who we just claimed off of waivers from the Indianapolis Colts and a lot of people were kind of observing that maybe this is the guy that to replace DeAndre Baker at second cornerback. The Giants also released quarterback Case Cookus of Northern Iowa, George Ashton of Pittsburgh and linebackers Alawale Bitiku and Dana Levin of Temple. Man, I am absolutely bummed out that my guy Alawale Bitiku Jr has been released by the Giants. I'm I'm actually <laughs> I'm really disappointed, man, and I they didn't even give him a fair shot, and I was really rooting for him, man, and maybe he could find, maybe he still has a chance of playing with the Giants, um, you know, sooner this season, maybe if somebody else opts out or, you know, injuries happen, what have you, I think a lot of guys that get that get cut this year are going to find opportunities elsewhere with the whole, uh, you know, a pandemic going on and, you know, what's been going on, and injuries might occur more often than usual due to less training camp practices, so I hope Alawale finds a chance with us, if not with another team, but man, it, that, that really sucks, I'm definitely going to reach out to him uh, soon to, to, you know, kind of get a feel of what's going on with him, um, but that being said, those were one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight players. And then we have Damari Scott, who opted out of the 2020 uh, NFL season. Um, he too will not play this year. And I'm, I'm guessing these, these are for health concerns. And I'm hearing that there's something going on with Leonard Williams, how he's put on a, a non, non-football injury list. Now, let me look up Leonard Williams right now. So they put Leonard Williams on the NFI list. And I'm looking at GiantsWire.com that Leonard Williams actually showed up to training camp injured. So we don't really know what's going on with that right now. But they they announced that they, he is on the non-football injury list, the NFI list. And this takes him off as one of the players on the 90-man roster or now 80-man roster. So that cuts one guy down. So I don't know if this is a tactic by the GM. I don't know what, it, what, you know, what this is all about. But the Giants um, have cut these players and they're moving on with the players that they have now. I want, to, I want to know your thoughts in the comments section below about the players that have been cut so far. All right, quick note. I literally just ended the video but forgot to mention that the Giants have actually 81 players on the roster, not 80, because Sandro Platzgummer, who's coming from the uh, a foreign area, I think he's coming from Germany or something like that, um, you know, he, he doesn't count as a, as a roster spot. So the Giants currently technically have 81 players, but he does not count towards the roster amount so that's that so sorry about that guys and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video Woo!